Welcome back, everybody. You're watching uh, Arc Main right here on Fox 23. Uh, we want to talk about a dangerous trend popping up in communities all across Southern Maine. Police are worried that those involved or anyone who stumbles upon so-called street takeovers are going to get seriously hurt. Here to talk with us about these are and the what they are and the investigation into the group behind it is reporter Mount Meyer. Mount, thanks for being here. I watched your pieces. I mean, it is kind of scary. So how did you first even find out about this happening in Maine? Yeah, so we heard about this issue kind of through the grapevine. Somebody had uh, seen and kind of like heard about this and alerted us to it. And so I've been digging into kind of like where these had been happening, how long these have been going on. And what I had found is that law enforcement across Southern Maine especially have been really aware of this for about the last several months or so. We even obtained a body camera footage and dash camera footage from law enforcement, one uh, dating back to last fall in Pownal of all places, which I think was kind of surprising to some people that it would be happening out there as well. These have also been linked to places like Saco and um, some others like up around like South Portland and, and those kinds of places. And what I really found is that this is largely linked back to a group called the 207 Slow Boys. They largely organize these kind of gatherings through Instagram and other social media channels. Yeah, and talk about what exactly these are. It sounds like a bunch of I mean, drag racing, uh, d just a showing off doing donuts. I mean, what exactly? Yeah, it, it is kind of almost like a form of drag racing, if you will, but they're staying in one spot. They're usually going to these intersections, meeting up there. It's fast and then they peel off to the next intersection. They're doing donuts and people are filming them. Sometimes people are hanging out of the cars as well, trying to get these videos. And really the concern here from law enforcement is sometimes people are getting so close to these cars because they are looking for these video shots. Sometimes people are getting hit. We have found video of people getting seriously injured from these events and um, they are very quick and then of course they, they move on to the next And it's so fast, is that a big challenge for law enforcement to even try to track them down or is it also dangerous for them to try to follow them? It's both of, both of those mm -hmm. things really. Um, and really the trouble for law enforcement is sometimes they are showing up to these things, they're hearing about it, by the time they get there they're only able to maybe send one officer, maybe two officers. We've even heard that they've been able to call in reinforcement from other towns but those two also only may have a few officers on duty and then they're showing up to these huge meets where like upwards of 100 people are out there. And so in talking to law enforcement, really the concern is that, you know, they're just far outnumbered. It's not safe. People are setting off fireworks. They're banging on cars and things like that. So it's just really not safe um, for them to do that. And we actually talked to law enforcement about this issue and uh, calling in reinforcements. That's something that we weren't able to get to in uh, our original story. It's not smart for an officer uh, or even three officers to get out in a chaotic scene like that and try to take any type of enforcement action. When they put this out on social media, you can get 100 people that show up at one time and then however many cars are gonna be doing the antics that they're doing. And so even if you had two or three communities respond, uh, you're not gonna get 100 police officers to get in there and arrest everybody or, or try to stop everybody and issue them a summons. I, it, it sounds like it's a mixture of uh, several things. First of all, I think it's uh, all these people that think doing what they think is fun. Mm -hmm. uh, and also maybe uh, with burning rubber, I mean, marking a spot with the donuts and everything and then showing off too. I mean, is that safe to say all three of those, maybe more? Oh, absolutely. This is definitely for street cred. Mm -hmm. um, that's what they're doing this for. They're posting it on social media. They're trying to build this following. Um, at least that's what I have found through these Instagram accounts, especially you can find where people are kind of connecting with each each other over this. Interesting. And so since the first story aired, you've been doing updates, you know, closely following this and you've learned more about where this group may be practicing their tricks. That's exactly right. After my st first story aired, we had a businessman reach out to us literally within minutes of that first story airing. And he said, actually, this is happening in my parking lot. So you can see here he was showing me around his business area. He had installed uh, security cameras wow. and he was able to actually show us where it was happening. I then linked that to Instagram accounts that had been posting about this. And of course they're shooting this at night. So I didn't actually know where some of these were happening. Right. So then to go see And now it, you can tell it is the same spot. It's exactly, and you can see There's there. Somebody getting hit right there. Exactly. Man, oh my goodness. Exactly. Yeah. And they, you know, cut the video, but I, I would be curious to, to hear what happened to that person. Um, and then that is a screenshot that I obtained from 
one of the organizers okay. in an affiliated group um, that actually had posted about that kind of meetup um, just days before it had happened. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Let's hear what the, what the business owner has to say about this. Exactly. I know they're, they're understaffed and, you know, I understand that, but, uh, you know, this, is, this seems to be not so random anymore. So I think if you, you had a patrol drive out here between 8 and midnight on the weekends, you know, you'd, you'd probably, you'd find something sometimes. Portland police did tell me in a statement that they are aware of these dangerous activities and the problematic areas and they've been giving special attention to those spots at the appropriate times. I also did talk to an expert about this mm -hmm. and what she suggested was really for maybe on the business end, putting up some sort of barriers and stuff. You know, the challenge for that for businesses is they've got, yes, the money, money. issue yeah. and also, you know, they've got a business to run and so having something like we'll a gate welcoming and something, to customers probably right too. right exactly those those po pose other different uh different challenges um one thing i just wanted to mention is in what we said after our first story aired is i did try to reach out to the 207 slow boys who again law enforcement have linked to these meetups at that time, I welcome them to reach out to me. I would love to talk to them about this issue. All right. Yeah, more to come probably on this. Yeah, it sounds like it's all about social media and look at me, look at me, because you can see how yeah. close people are getting to the cars with their phones, uh, you know, trying to take videos of it. And again, the one guy, at least one guy in the video you showed getting hit. Yeah. I just hope that no one else gets hurt. And Absolutely. I know law enforcement feels the same way. So exactly we know you'll keep right. following it, Mel. Thank you so much.